My name is Pastor Samuel Apia from Brockton Oak Street Seventh-day Adventist Church. And I'm here with Mrs. Carolyn Palmer, uh, the leader for our food pantry. We are here to talk about the food pantry and also the church uh, family fund day. We are running a very effective program for the community. And the first one is the food pantry that we run. We do this uh, the first, third, and the fifth um, Wednesday of every month. It's very effective and it's meeting great needs in the community. And we also do our annual fun day where we invite people to join us at the park where we celebrate, we dine together, we have fun together. So I'm not going to waste much of your time. Mm -hmm. I just want to invite the leader in the person of Mrs. Um, Carolyn Palmer, who has been leading out both the food pantry and the family fun day at the park for the Servant of Hope food pantry. So I'm going to invite her to take over and give us an insight into the details of the program and how you can benefit from this program. So Ms. Palmer, please, can you give us the details of the food pantry to start with? And then we go into the fun day. How does it run? When does it run? And how many people are you serving every week? Um, thank you, Pastor. Um, so we're Servants of Hope Food Pantry, um, located at 752 Oak Street in Brockton at the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We open um, every first, third, and fifth Wednesdays from... 10 to 12 and so far we're serving about 12 to 1500 families per month the food pantry is really a success um, folks come out each week that we're serving and we do about 170 boxes per week um, that we serve um, right now we're ha having a program at the park as pastor mentioned at 177 dover street in brockton on july 2nd this program is an annual program um it's really a really really fun time out in the park with the community where we give back i wouldn't say give back where we just help those who are in need. So Ms. Palmer, if I may interject here, do you need a ticket to come in or is open to everybody? It is open to everybody. It's open to all those who um, would like to come out and celebrate with us. Um, we start from 9 until 5 uh, serving. We will be giving free clothing, we'll be doing free haircuts, We'll have a dental hygienist on site um, checking um, children's teeth. Uh, we'll have a massage therapist to do free massages. We have um, Pinnacle Mental Health that will be present. We have We Care um, 365 that will be present. We have Healthier You that will be present and also our one day daycare that will be Present. So with this now, what are some of the challenges that you are facing in terms of putting up a, such a big program for the community? Uh, is there anything that can be done for, um, that you need help with? Well, I need help with, um, I would like to reach out to the mayor's office actually, because um, this is an annual program that we would go to the park department and would get a, a permit from the park department, we will get a permit from the fire department, one from the health department to do this program. This year, our challenge is the park department who is um, putting up a block, um, putting a restriction on us doing a barbecue to feed the people each um, for, the, for the day. And if we cannot barbecue for the day, that put an ender on the program uh, because we need to feed people. We have uh, um, 10 cases of chicken. We have five cases of hamburgers and stuff like that and that will be a challenge to have that off-site and then to bring it on-site and when you when it comes to meat that's something that would be difficult for you to do outside of um, the program and to bring it in um, so I'm trying to reach out to the mayor which I've gone to the office I've um, spoken to the aide in regards to 
um, getting an appointment with the mayor to, to kind of get this restriction um, to, to be off of the program. I had a meeting with um, Tim in regards to the program and when it comes time for him to pull me into the meeting, I was blocked from um, the Park Commission's meeting. So I'm reaching out to the mayor at this point to help us with this program because this is a major program that happens in Brockton every year giving back to those who are in need. We, we also have 100 food boxes that we give, grocery boxes that we give to families. It's not just about um, the groceries, but also about giving them warm meals. Thank you, Ms. Palmer, for giving us an insight into this program. And we are also looking forward to sponsors. If there is any community that, or any organization that are willing to sponsor any aspect of this program, you'll be more than um, welcome to just donate or give anything, finance, anything that you can give to help to make this program a success. We are here at Servant of Hope um, Community Food Pantry, sponsored by Brockton Oak Street Seventh-day Adventists, just to serve the community. We are here to meet the needs. Thank you, Ms. Palmer, for your leadership, and may God bless you as we continue to serve the community of Brockton. I'd like to talk about the sponsors, though. Sure. Um, we have We Care, who are sponsoring our T-shirts this year. We also have um, GNS. Let me, let me make sure of it. Um, we have GNC Cruise Liners. Um, they're located at 753 Washington Street in Stoughton. We have um, Costco's and other um, organizations that have donated to us helping with this program. So we accept any donations, any sponsors towards the program. Once again, mm -hmm. thank you, Ms. Palmer, and may God bless you and your team for the good job that you're doing in the community. We look forward to having a fun time with you July 2nd, Sunday, July 2nd, starting from 9.30 in the morning till 5 p.m. in the evening. Everybody is welcome. May God bless you.